What to do when reverse current occurs? Back-to-back -back MOSFETs can be used. When the MOSFET is turned off, it blocks current in both directions. How is the reverse current blocked? There are generally two reasons for reverse current. The first is that when the power supply and system are disconnected, the input voltage drops suddenly, leaving a higher voltage at the output, resulting in temporary reverse current. The second is when the mounts tube is used for load switching. The diode is forward biased. The reverse current can flow reversely through its body diode, and the output voltage is greater than the input voltage, which will generate a reverse voltage, causing the power dissipation at both ends of the body diode to increase linearly. What is the harm of reverse current? It can damage internal circuits and power supplies. And reverse current spikes can also damage cables and connectors. How to block reverse current? There are three common ones. The first is the use of diode, but it will cause the positive voltage to decrease. The total power consumption will increase, so the power supply will decrease 0.6 volts to 0.8 volts, resulting in a shortened battery life shorter. The second type is the back-to-back -back MOSFET. We mentioned at the beginning, when the MUNS tube is turned off, it can block current in both directions. Compared with the diode, it has a lower voltage drop, could require more space. In the last one, the position of the MUNS tube allows the body diode from the input end to the output end. When the MUNS tube is closed or open, there will be no reverse current flow. However, the disadvantage of this circuit is that the power cannot be turned off because the diode between the power and the load is always turned on. So when do you need to block the reverse current? When the power supply is reused, one of the power supply voltage is higher than the other. So even if the other power rail has a disconnect switch, there may be reverse current. When the 3.3 volts power switch is turned on, it can apply a 5 volts voltage to the system. For switch, using a simple FET solution, even if the switch is cut off. When URG is used, it is similar to power multiplexing, except that the highest voltage always powers the system instead of selecting a power supply to power the system. Large capacitance, when the input power drops, the supercapacitor maintains the output. In order to protect the upstream power supply or components, reverse current protection needs to be set. The sudden loss of input power may generate reverse current. The capacitance of the switch output is greater than that of the input, and the voltage at the output decays very slowly. That is, the voltage at the switch output drops slower than that at the input. At this time, the voltage at the switch output will be greater than the input, and reverse current will flow through the switch. If you have any questions about MOSFET product technical solutions, you can leave a message in the comment area. I will give you the answer here. Web Semi MOSFET manufacturer, focusing on MOSFET R&D and manufacturing for 20 years.